such boosters could be authorized soon while protesters push back against vaccine mandates. We just don't trust it yet. For the government to push something so hard on us is ridiculous. Negotiations continue in Haiti after a group of missionaries were kidnapped. Held for a reported $17 million ransom. The FBI is part of a coordinated U.S. government effort. The Biden administration is asking the Supreme Court to block the Texas law banning most abortions while the fight plays out in court. Honoring the life of Colin Powell, how he won respect over a long career on both sides of the aisle. Amtrak train crashes through a semi hauling cars. The NBA tips off season 75 tonight, but not everyone will be playing. We get Magic Johnson's thoughts on unvaccinated players. You have said to your teammates, I'm going to be there for you. Well, you can't be there if you don't get vaccinated. For both Pfizer and Moderna, the recommendation is that after six months, people over the age of 65 or who have pre-existing conditions should get a booster. But for Johnson & Johnson, the panel recommends boosters for people 18 and older, and it can be given two months after the first shot. Cool. Hey, you know when that information would have come in handy? Two months after the first shot.